Which I haven't seen any animals actually at all since started playing. Looks like there might be some water down here. Oh snap, is that a freaking monkey? Holy crap, dude, this hammer takes a ton. Yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? We are back with another game from Steam Next Fest, Soul Mask, as you guys can see. It's, uh, it looks pretty interesting, uh, to say the least. It looks like it's more of a, like an open world, uh, kind of game. We can pull up the, uh, little description here over on Steam. This is another one from Steam Next Fest, the demo. Um, and yeah, hopefully, uh, you guys do enjoy. If you guys do end up enjoying, make sure you guys go tap that like button. Also, you guys can pick it up over on Steam. Um, try out the demo. Um, not sure if it'll be available after Steam Next Fest, but you guys can add it to your wish list. Uh, release date is uh, sometime this year. It doesn't have an exact date. Um, basically, oh, it's been extended till February 18th, which is cool. Escaping a deadly sacrificial ritual, you find an ancient mystical mask on your journey. This mask holds potential knowledge changing the world you knew face the harsh challenges of nature explore and unveil the truths behind the enigmatic mask so it's a survival sandbox building simulation 3d game sort of like all the other games that have recently been coming out like uh enshrouded and uh pale world and such like that so without further ado let's jump right on into this um i don't believe i have a save of anything so yeah let's um Jump right on in and game name uh, loaded. Play map. Uh, okay, it looks like there's only one map. Allow others to join. No maximum player quantity. So you can have uh, it is co op, so you can have multiple players up to like it looks like eight. Um, <clears throat> game mode PvE, PvP, PvE, and PvP. So there is PvP, which is cool. And then set passwords. Uh, uh, Let's see. Sure. Jump right on into this. See how these things go. The artwork for this game looks very nice. Um, I do give it that. Um, it's pretty interesting though. Tribe has its own village, camps, and social division of labor systems along with its own production. Life skills, some of these skills are acquired naturally through their experiences while others are bestowed. Okay. So we're discovering a bunch of stuff here not sure what's going on so it looks like you got uh character face here okay hairstyles hair color nice you got skin tone you can change yeah height holy smokes you can make them super tall super small uh body size okay interesting interesting body fat you got as well okay cool you got male female and uh yeah cool let's jump right on into this i guess let's see what it's all about okay so this must be the mask Must be the mask. Oh, snap. Oh. Okay, then you got mask color. Definitely like the gold one. I think white would look best around it, right? See, I like the blue, too. Let's go with something like that. Let's just go with the standard one, I guess. Lodius, <clears throat> you guys already know. Let's see what it is all about. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like we got our health bar down there. A couple other things. Food bar, water bar, 
Imagine stamina. WASD to move around. Ooh, the movement feels pretty good. Jump. Um, looks like we got health, and I'm not sure what yeah. the one on the left there is. Okay. L guidance. Harvest grass. Manually collect bushes once. Pick up stones or branches on the ground. Shift L to skip quest. Okay, so... Oh, we'll press E. Harvest grass. Obtain vines. Thatch. Okay. Nice. Harvest pursuit efficiency upgraded to level 3 already. Dang, dude. 4? Okay, so tab, you got tribesmen. And you got our inventory crafting system over here. Oh, you can idle. You can... Oh, sweet. You can uh, queue stuff up. Queue to transfer, repair craft, equip to unequipped. Uh, sub preference, locate to trek tech tree. Split, uncraft, discard. Work, character. Ooh, okay. So you got ability here. Recognition, your stats, every point of perception, come resist, production output, bow damage, uh, physique, maximum HP, plus 10 maximum resilience, chill resistance, um, max load, poison resistance, sword damage, hammer damage, improves throwing distance. Recovery speed eliminates poison radiation in the body more quickly. Endurance max stamina. Endurance is a huge one. Agility. Um, spear damage. Blade damage. Dual blade damage. Gauntlets. Attack speed of all melee. Oh, we just leveled up again. I like... I think I like agility and... Endurance. Proficiency, you got all your stuff here. So you got logging, mining, harvesting, planting, weaving, potting. This is actually pretty in-depth. Blade skills all the way up to 50. Upon reaching the reward level, you can select any effect from each row. Oh, you can go all the way to one, 120 then. Holy smokes. Mastery. You got mastery for like spears and stuff. When proficiency reaches the reward level, there's a chance of learning a new skill. Oh, nice. Okay. T is the mask. Whoa, you got masks skills as well? Teleport module. Light perception. Knowledge and text tree. So you got the tech tree here. Whoa, this is like super in depth. Advanced to bronze. Glow of iron. Steel age. Deep in runes. Okay. And then J for experience, you got your tribe, hunting, promotion requirements, beginner, hunter, clan, trip. So 66 achievements it looks like or something. 1 in 10, this old worn out bow is just too busy, trips. Kill a level 10 green prey to unlock this trip milestone. Okay, this is like super in depth. I do like this already. You know, if you guys want, you guys can uh, go wishlist this over on Steam. You guys can also try it out uh, if you guys would like. Um, so far, I mean, I know I haven't done a whole lot, but it is definitely uh, something I can see myself liking a lot. So we'll get a bunch of fibers and vines. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, sticks on the ground here. Oh, we can also get stones as well. So I'm not seeing... Much, if any, stones on the ground either. Okay, just spam click E. Harvest like everything. Okay, here we go. Here's some stones and uh, sticks. Stick, stone, stone, stone. So far, oh, there is a weight bar, it looks like, um, in the middle there. Uh, at the very, very bottom, it's super tiny. You can't really see it. But it's showing like 162 out of 230. And then uh, you got the little weight symbol in the middle there. Okay. Got more of this. Campfire, press T to enter mask repair to view. 
Uh, knowledge and technology, the rise of the barbarians, press and hold the campfire. Um, on the right to unlock, press shift L to skip the quest. Well, I don't want to skip the quest. Now let's just grab all of this wood here. Stone. Oh, that's actually experience down there. 20 of 390. That's your experience bar. Okay. I thought it was my weight. So no, we just leveled up. The weight is actually just the weight symbol in the middle there. It looks like you can hold an awful lot without uh, running into too much, too much of an issue here. I was hoping to find a more open area, but uh, this might be able to do. So, T, knowledge, technology, um, primitive fire making, basic slaughter, primitive tools, basic. So it was hold T, the Rise of Barbarians, press and hold the campfire on the right to unlock. The thing is, I don't see campfire anyways. See primitive fire making. This just unlocks a torch it looks like. Kiln technique, primitive weapon. Okay. Yeah, I just I just acquired a torch. Okay, I guess that's what it's looking for. Now stone tools. Oh, which unlocked a bunch of stuff. For us, it looks like. So we want stone tools. Um, awareness, strength, I need level 7. So I guess let's get... Oh. super primitive tools. Stone pickaxe. Stone axe. Butcher's knife. And a scythe. And then I guess the survival tools as well. So we'll get all of them. Press tab to enter the crafting bar and craft the four stone tools. Okay. So let's craft you. Select one or more materials to prioritize for use. Okay. F is to craft all, craft one. So I want one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you. Don't have the logs yet. Bug net, water bottle, need thick rope, linen. Okay. And then campfire, craft one of you, press five. Guess I'll place the campfire down, like, right here. E. Open craft. The roasted locust. Craft it. On an unlocked crafting table. Gosh dang it. So I can't craft you. Okay. Pick all this up. Uh, let's do one. How's this work? Oh, your, your pick. So two. Okay. Logging proficiency upgraded to level four. Oh, so picking up... Picking up branches off the ground upgraded our logging proficiency. Interesting. Oh, okay. Did it just break up and I have to... Okay, it just disappears. Alright. Oh, okay. Tame gypsum? Cool. And stone? Flint? Alright. Lots of flint. 
Lots of stone. Not bad. Looks like we do have uh, durability on our tools. Insufficient stamina. Okay, so the green one looks like it's our stamina. Okay. Harvest bush more efficiently once with a scythe. Okay. So let's get uh, four. Okay, so we got quite a bit of stuff there. After building a campfire or bonfire, light it once. Can be used for respawn after being lit. All allied buildings near a lit bonfire will be protected from decay. Okay. Ooh, we got wild fruit berries. Okay. Press and hold to view more operations. Campfire, open craft. Open craft, enable. How do I light it, though? Add fuel. I guess I'll throw you in here. 45 minutes? Holy smokes. Press T to enter. Learn how to make thick ropes. Okay. So I'll come in here. Basic building is... Thick ropes. Uh, press tab to enter the crafting bar. Craft a thick rope. Okay. Um, e. Primitive weapon once. Use a primitive weapon once. Learn how to craft primitive weapons from mask tech. Okay. Primitive weapon. I don't know what I want to go. I don't want to go hammer or shield. I was more or less leaning towards... Uh, yeah, this one. Oh, they're throwing axes. I was leaning more towards, like, dual blade or something. Uh, let's see. Sure, let's make the hammer, I guess. Um, use primitive weapon once. Learn how to craft primitive weapons from mask tech. Okay, so it looks like it wants us to craft all of them. We've got 25 points left, so we can definitely craft a lot. Um, linen gear... Probably wouldn't be bad to craft as well. Um, stone weapons. We need seven, so we're, we're almost there. <clears throat> Basic slaughtering I should probably get as well for butcher's table, slaughtering technique, and carcass desiccation. And uh, yeah, we'll hold off there. Use primitive weapon once. Learn to craft primitive weapons from mass tech. So I did that. Um, weapon. I want to craft a... see so we need five thick ropes so let's craft five of you okay and then I need just regular wood Ten branches it's not really what I'm looking for bark Okay, give me hardwood. How do I get regular logs? Okay, I wonder if the logs are on the ground. No, they're just branches. How the flip do I get logs then? Okay, there's hardwood. Thatch foundation, thatch pillar. Oh, I can make the hammer now. Okay, so now I got the hammer. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh, heck yeah. Build a thatch foundation. All right. So let's build, uh, I mean, we can only build two. So I'll build one foundation. How big's the foundation? Eh, not super big. But it's an okay size. Master linen processing in mask tech. Okay, make linen once.
Master linen processing. I wonder if I need the loom. Oh no. So you just need fiber it looks like for this? Okay. Stone bead necklace. Oh, that increases your HP, attack, and head resilience. Sure, I'll make one of those. Butcher's table. I'll craft one of you. Windshield, I don't think I really need. Let's craft two more of these. Five more. Uh, put on linen gear. How much do I need for linen? So we need... Let's see. Two, four, eight. Ugh. Craft you. Linen shoes. Which we can equip you. Stone bean necklace. I can, I'll equip you. Then there was... Linen gloves. I'll craft you. Costume was, so I need four, eight, so I need eight more rope, or I need seven rope, 18 linen, so I need 13 more linen, and then I need... Seven more of you. Okay, so we got weaving proficiency. Doing good there. Use for processing various animal products. I do want to make more thatch um, foundations, but we need a lot of thick rope for that, so I'm going to hold off on you. We got you already. We need the costume and the pants. Costume and pants. Okay, and now, yeah, we just need a bunch of thick rope, which we get from vines. So if I just do F, it'll craft 10 of you. Um, let's grab our scythe out. Come over here, can I? Oh yeah, we get a ton of vines from this. Looks like 30 vines from like each almost, it looks like. Okay. And vines will help a lot for the, uh, making the, uh, whatchamacallit. Insufficient stamina, of course. Okay. Perfect. Cleared that area now. Um. Let's see, so I wanted to make at least... Let's do one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. So we got five, six. Be a three by two. Ooh, the snapping. I, I like the snapping already. Snapping is very nice. Okay. That's not too, too bad. Um, I do want to craft three more, though, if possible. Does not look like it's possible. We need more thick rope. Um, let's do uh, F. Craft 16 of that. Um, cool. And I can leave my tab and it'll still craft. Successfully hunt any common wild animal in the rainforest. Dissect animal carcass once with a butcher's knife. Alright, so I guess we're going to go off on an adventure and try and find uh, some animals. Since we haven't really explored much. I don't think I'm going to really like this hammer too, too much, though. Seems very slow. Oh, there is a decent-sized map. So we're, like, over here near this one. Got to try and remember where the heck our house is. Can I actually create a custom mark where the cursor is? So, yeah, I'm going to do R. And do, um, home. Space. 
Yeah, there we go. Create a shortcut mark where the cursor is. Create a customized mark at the feet. Okay. So now we gotta try and find some animals. Which I haven't seen any animals actually at all since I started playing. Looks like there might be some water down here. Oh snap, is that a freaking monkey? Holy crap, dude, this hammer takes a ton. Yeah, choosing the hammer, I think, was a mistake. Can we craft... Let's craft a wooden spear. See how this goes. A little quicker. Not by much, though. Oh, there's turkeys here. Oh, you know what? This would be perfect for, uh... Craft a bow. And then arrows takes logs or hardwood and... Or... Branches. Okay. Five. Let's see how hard this is. What are you? Are you like a wombat or something? Okay, you're not even like hitting it. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like bows just aren't working. Capybara, that's what it is. You know, it's not the bow just sucks, dude. Oh my god, dude, hammer, we just leveled up like crazy. That was insane, dude. Eighty-eight experience, twenty-four twenty-five. Fatal hit. Okay, Beast Blood. Comment. Okay, we got a ton of stuff from there. It's getting dark though, which is a little scary. Oh, interesting. Do I need these? This is gonna be stupid, but it looks like I haven't used any of my arrows. Oh my gosh, you have to equip them. Dang, dude, the drop is actually crazy. Yeah, that's a little harder than uh, you'd think. Bam! Okay, we missed. Boom! Oh my god, dude. Okay, craft a plank. 
or a handle on the carpenter's table. But we don't have a carpenter's table, so I guess let's head back home. We should have plenty of food now. Oh, there is... Oh, it shows our sound down in the bottom. Dang, it's gotten dark. I do apologize, guys. Let's see if I can... Crank it up for you guys. Okay, that doesn't look too, too bad. Doesn't look too, too bad. I'm not a huge fan of the bow. Like, it's just very, uh... The drop is insane. And it's just not, um... It just... It, it seems very hard to, uh, really make any, um, progress with it. The hammer, if you can catch them when they're standing still, the hammer is freaking insane. One-shots them. But, basically, if you miss, though, it takes a hot minute to, uh, it takes a hot minute to, uh, basically get back your, uh, like to reload definitely takes a minute <laughs> so i need to craft a oh a waste lamp would be huge but we need to catch fireflies <clears throat> um butcher's table would be nice we need more hardwood and oh bonfire would be nice small wood chest would be nice but we need planks a well. Carpenter's table. That's what we need. We need 20 hardwood. 20 hardwood. Let's run over here and chop down some trees. Okay. Craft a plank or a handle on the carpenter's workbench. Okay. Getting a lot of tree bark. We got some resin here, some branches. Obtained four logs. Okay. More. How are we getting logs now and not hardwood? Okay, so these might be logs, and then this must be hardwood. This 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 tree must be hardwood here. Let's see here. Yeah, this looks like it might be hardwood. Yeah, 12 hardwood. So these ones with the leaves coming down is hardwood. Okay. Looks like we are starting to get a little hungry. Um, Health is still at half since we uh, equipped uh, our armor and stuff. And it looks like our tool is broken. Cool. I think there is a way to repair. Yes. There's a way to repair. Okay. Logging's up to 13. Okay. Not bad. I can see this being a lot of fun if playing with friends and stuff. Um, let's see. Seven. Butcher's table, open to craft. Okay, see, so we can make all sorts of stuff here. Um, let's build a... Should have enough now to make the... Let's see. Thatch foundation, butcher's table, we have... Carpenter's table. Oh, we need more hardwood. Which doesn't make much sense, because I thought we had enough. Tons of resin. Okay. 
I wonder if it's... Have I just not unlocked it yet, I wonder? Hmm, basic carpentry, carpenter's table, that's it. Stone weapons, though. Really want the dual blade. Um, tannery, weaving, grinding, potting table, food processing. Planks, thatch frame we need. Thatch wall, thatch cover, thatch door. Furniture, grass mat, thatch frame, basket that can be used to store items. Okay, now we can make the basic chest. 26 points. Uh, quite a bit of points, actually. Uh, medium carpentry, beast bone tools, basic craftsmanship. Need strength of 9 to do that, though. Simple tannery, we can make leather, which means we could probably move into making leather uh, gear. Okay. So we got that. Um, what can I make you now? Carpenter's table. Craft one of you. Thatch basket. How do I... Wooden handle. Ooh, we might be able to make wooden handles from this guy. Definitely takes a minute. Oh, we definitely could have moved this a little closer. To the edge. Wooden stone proficiency upgrades. Okay. So we crafted that. Seven. Place you here. E. Can make a plank now. So we'll craft a plank. Point of caregiver. No tribesman is guarding this crafting table. Items crafted by tribesmen here will not be automatically moved to the storage chest. Carpenter's table. Okay. Wooden handle. Let's craft two of you. And then um, use a stone weapon once. That's actually perfect because I wanted to make the stone dual blades. We got wooden handles. So we'll move you here. Stone dual blades. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Right there. So I'll craft you. Um... Sweet. Let's see what we're up to. Oh, this is going long now. Didn't realize how late in the game we were. So, seven. Oh, heck yeah. Consume any meat produced in campfire or bonfire. Okay. Uh, roasted locust. So, I'll cook all of you, I guess. And then I'll cook all of you. We got 56 meat. Holy smokes, dude. Um, I guess I'll eat you. Okay. Eat you. Um, we got 14 meat. Okay. Can I see my HP on this page? It does not look like it. 201. Five per second for five minutes. Oh, and there's decay in the game? Holy smokes. Okay, use the water bottle once to quench thirst. Take water from the water source if the water bottle is empty. I don't even know if we have a water bottle. Doesn't even look like we have a water bottle, so... Craft one of you. Let's craft one of you. Okay, to quench your thirst. Let's move you down here. Okay, and we 
need to move down this way. Okay. Because I do believe the water source was down here. Down at the bottom of this hill. Yo, if you guys have been enjoying this, uh, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more... Uh, more demos and uh, gameplay from uh, Steam Next Fest. Also, um, for any other games that uh, you guys would like to see uh, playthroughs of, definitely make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And, uh, yeah, definitely subscribe. Um, grind towards a 1,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys uh, would like, you guys can uh, wishlist this on uh, Steam. And uh, for when the game comes out sometime this year. I definitely am going to probably do a full, uh, full playthrough of this. Because this looks super interesting. Okay, there's five. Okay, cool. So that was basically all the quests that we did. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh, I like this already. Okay, so we'll get some more beast hide here. Um, yeah, I can definitely see me myself playing through this quite a bit. Um, cooked meat, five minutes. So we are regenerating health through the cooked meat. Um, I definitely can see me doing a full playthrough of this once the game fully comes out. So if that's something that you guys uh, would like to see, definitely uh, let me know down in the comments. Oh, you sneaky monkey. Okay, dual blade proficiency just went up a whole lot. Sorry, monkey. Beast bone, beast blood. I wonder what you could use the beast blood for. But, anyways, I think we're gonna call the call it there. It's definitely been a little bit of lo longer of an episode. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, which as much as I did, it looks like we do have heat and stuff up in the top corner, and uh, the compass and stuff. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And uh, subscribe for more. Um, I'll definitely probably do a full playthrough of this when, once the game fully comes out. Because uh, I definitely uh, definitely like this. Or if you guys want want to see more of the uh, demo, uh, we can play this all the way up until uh, we can't know more on the uh, February 18th. Um, I can record all, as much as the demo will give us. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys... Uh, enjoyed this this little like uh i guess intro to the game um which is definitely uh super in depth with the uh, the amount of knowledge that you can get i don't know how far you can actually go in the demo um it almost looks like you can play like the full thing in a way fog frog set skin okay so you can't get any of that but um yeah, definitely, definitely pretty interesting. Uh, I guess we'll craft all this stuff while we, um, not craft it, but, um, unlock it all. Or as much as we can. Sweet. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, um, it's got, like, an enshrouded type of gameplay to it, but it's also more of, like, um, kind of, like, I don't even know how to explain it, because you got this, like, tech tree that's, like, a, um, a tech tree for, like, other types of games but then it's like it's also um very like it's kind of like an icarus kind of game play as well it's very just very interesting so we got all of that yeah yeah we need to get up to 15 awareness so it's like yeah um we didn't get much into any of this which you need green crystals for um and which is interesting it does look like you get xp going up um, so this is something that you could definitely deep dive into. Um, defeat Sabertooth Predator to gain access to. Defeat Frog Frog to gain access to. So it does look like there's three bosses at least. An ape, a frog, and a Sabertooth. Um, which is pretty cool. And we can definitely uh, check that stuff out when the game comes out. Or like I said, if you guys want, want to see more of this, uh, uh, of me playing this, um, just let me know. But I think we're going to end the episode off there. This has been Soul Mask. And I'm Lodis. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. And uh, hopefully I will see y'all in the next 
episode, whatever that may be. But thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!